Our next story comes from the BBC. No documentary this time. They're dealing with another scandal. It involves one of their news presenters. Interestingly, he's not been named, but he's been suspended. What for? Soliciting explicit photos from a teenager. Apparently, this started three years ago. The teenager was 17 at the time. And this BBC presenter paid for their explicit photos. Guess when the BBC learned about it? Almost two months back. But it's only now, when the scandal has broken out, that they've suspended this presenter. Only after the news became public and pressure started coming in from all quarters. Here's a report. The BBC is entangled in another scandal. This one is of its own making. It involves a star presenter and explicit photographs. Let's start with what we know so far. The British newspaper The Sun broke this story on Friday. It features a star presenter at the BBC. The charge is serious. The presenter asked for explicit pictures from a teenager. It began in 2020. The teenager was 17 years old. Now, in the UK, the age of consent is 16, but even then, it's illegal to make or possess explicit photos of someone who is under 18. So, if proven, this would be a crime. The Sun report said the victim was paid for the photos, almost $45,000 over a period of three years. And this money went into fueling a crack cocaine habit. This comes from the victim's family. They spoke to the son for this report. They say they wanted the payments to stop and that the victim had become a ghost of their former self due to the drug habit. That's not all. The presenter is also accused of stripping to his underwear while on a video call with the victim. When did the BBC learn about all this? On the 19th of May this year. The victim's family say they informed the British broadcaster, but the BBC did not do very much. For two months, they seem to have just sat on the accusations, which is why the BBC is under the spotlight now. It kept this presenter on air. The family said it was frustrating. The person they blamed for ruining their child's life was allowed to stay on air. Now that the scandal is out, the BBC has suspended the presenter only after the story blew up. Which begs the question, what were they doing all this while? The BBC admitted it was aware of the allegations, but what they heard last week was of, quote-unquote, a different nature. A convenient excuse. Why didn't they go to the police? Even now, when they've heard allegations of a different nature, why not report the matter? The Metropolitan Police released a statement saying, the Met has received initial contact from the BBC in relation to this matter, but no formal referral or allegation has been made. Meanwhile, the broadcaster is in crisis mode. The Sun published a follow-up report yesterday. It said the accused presenter called the victim and said, what have you done? He demanded that the family drop the case. Interestingly, the presenter's name has not been revealed thanks to the UK's privacy laws. Unless the person is arrested and charged, their name isn't made public. But a process of elimination has already begun. A bunch of male BBC presenters are saying it isn't them. And since the accused will be missing on TV, they can't remain anonymous for long. Meanwhile, politicians are coming down hard on the BBC. Financial Secretary Victoria Atkins called for swift action. And this is the sentiment across party lines. It does call into question the, the, uh, the ethics, the investigations, how long these things take. And the BBC, but also other broadcasters, do need to get a grip. Get a grip is good advice. For once, the world is really watching the BBC and its next moves.